Hey guys, Michelle here from Cashel Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I kind of wanted to just chat with you a little bit about my trip to Alaska. Um, it was a cruising crop. If none of you have ever heard of cruising crop, I will link their description down below. But basically you do essentially that, cruise and crop. So there's a lot of different makers that are on there. Um, Vicky Boone is the class and the designer that I went to attend to on my trip to Alaska. But there are many others that you can choose from if you don't follow a specific one that's already on there. Um, the Cruising Crop website would actually give you a list of the um, crafter that's on there and then it takes you directly to their bio and you can read all about them and actually check them out and see if you're interested in what they do. Um, I can only speak on behalf of my experience with um, Cruising Crop and my experience with taking one of Vicky's classes. So basically what I want to share with you is it's a load of fun. Um, I cannot tell you that I did not have one day or one minute of no fun. Um, I did attend the trip with my parents and my daughter and her best friend. So. One thing to take note is that even though you may be the only person in your household that is a crafter, doesn't necessarily mean you have to go alone. Um, the crafter is the only one that actually pays an additional crafting fee for the event, but anyone else in your party that you want to tag along with the fun um, just gets the group rate, but they just aren't deemed a crafter, so they don't pay that additional crafting fee. Um, essentially, you're just getting the group rate, which to me is awesome. Um, when you do craft, um, again, I'm just speaking on behalf of myself, but this may be the same for all other crafters, is when you're at sea. So you don't feel like you're actually missing out on a lot of things because when you're on the port to your destination, you leave the ship, you go, you have your fun, go on your excursions, spend time with your family or your friends, whoever you're with, and then you just come back to shore, I mean, come back to your ship, and then you can do one of a number of things. Do whatever you want on the ship or go back to the craft room. Vicky did leave her craft room open, so it was kind of nice that we could just go back in whenever class wasn't in session and either catch up on whatever we um, missed or if we wanted to get ahead, we could do that as well. Um, it was really nice because you were with your peers, you were with other crafters, so if one person was stuck on something, you actually had a live person, which is kind of funny to say, um, with you. So it was kind of nice. Um, what else? The experience in itself is just amazing. I do, t I am going to admit that after this trip, I already booked my next one with Vicky. Um, I will be on the Panama cruise one in 2025. And even though that feels so far away, um, I know it's going to be right around the corner before I know it. Um, I do know there are other, I want to say, I think she has a Bahamas one available, I'm not really sure, but I will put the link down below. Like I said, there's other people, I think Paige Evans is actually doing one next year in May, which I tried to do, but it kind of conflicted with something else. Um, something to just have fun with and something new and exciting, especially meeting the person that you follow on YouTube in person is just kind of neat. I was actually starstruck when I met her, which I'm sorry to say is I know embarrassing in a way, but I, I just was, I was amazed that she's exactly who you see on TV or wherever you're watching her on YouTube in person. No different. She's such a humble, pleasant individual that I'm really glad that I was able to not only meet her and have her class in person on the trip, but it, it was just an overall experience. And it's kind of funny that my mom actually asked me, so is this the only way you're going to cruise again? And I probably told her a million times, yes. Um, and the reason behind that is because I know that when I was having fun in my craft room, the people that came with me could do whatever they want. And I didn't feel like I was missing out because when we did meet up for lunch or dinner, we just catched up and just embraced whatever it was. Now I will tell you that you don't have to stay in the craft room during the days you're crafting out at sea. That's really your choice. But to me, the whole point of experiencing the event is to partake in it. But again, it is totally optional. So anyways, that was just a little bit of knowledge I wanted to share with you on my experience on my first cruising crop, which won't be my last. <laughs> and then I also want to show you guys um, all the stuff we did during our um, days out at sea. Um, there were actually two and a half days on our eight day voyage to Alaska. And we basically made an entire album as well as 
layout pages. So I just want to show you now all that goodness that we made and then also show you all the leftover bits we had. So obviously the beauty behind it is that you had Vicky in person to help you and guide you through your process. The only negative to that would be you can't replay it and go back if you took her virtual class. Is that a deal breaker? No. <laughs> so just something to keep in mind. Um, if you're thinking about doing it, definitely research and make sure it's something you wanna do. Um, the ladies at Cruising Crop, Sherry and Sarah, are amazing. Every time I had a question, they were there at the, at the ready to answer all my questions. So anyways, if you have any questions about anything I just mentioned, definitely let me know in the, in the comments down below. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. And if you were on the Cruising Crop with me, um, with Vicky in Alaska, hi! <laughs> um, so glad to meet you and I hope to see you on the next one. Stay tuned! All right guys, so I just wanted to share with you um, some of the things that are left over from my cruising crop to Alaska. Now, I did purchase this postcard um, while I was in Alaska and my intent is to put it on the front cover, so that's why I kind of have it here on my project cart. But um, when you're in the cruising crop, you actually get one of these, um, I guess your little stickers, they kind of peel off. So I'm gonna add that to my album when I create it. Some of the things that were left over, as you can see, um, they have their papery pack, and there's tons of stuff still in there. Um, we also received a chipboard shape, so that's what these are, and there's still a ton of them left over. Um, we did get a bunch of charms that I got on the ship, so that's why they're in the kit, because I want to make a charm for the side of the spine, but these are a bunch of um, 12 by 12 uh, I think they were like cut aparts, like elements that I did cut and so they were lingering and I didn't want to lose them so I put them in here. But we did use some of Heidi Swab's set sale um, stuff. So this is what the collection we did use along with her Where To Next collection. So again, these are some of the bits left over. We also used um, her Woodland Grove, not her, sorry. Maggie Holmes Woodland Grove to go with some of the um, 12 by 12 pages we created. We did get these, but I don't think we used them in the album kit, so they're just bonus. Then um, we had the Where To Next um, Puffy stickers, and I want to say that I probably didn't use a lot. I only see one missing, so another whole thing. And then she did gift us one of the... Um, I think it was this one or this one I can't remember one of them was an exclusive with scrapbook.com so this was one of our goodies that we got at our table so um, yeah so we got these the stencils then we got how you swap stamp collection super fun we also got some ephemera not ephemera stickers that are um, from Heidi Swap. And so they come in three different colors and we use those within the album. And then we got some stickers from Heidi Swap. And we got some acrylic dots, which you can see I have not used yet. Then some from Heidi Swap, the set sale. Um, so you can see I still have some bit left over. I don't remember what collection this is from, but I know it's not Heidi Swap. I wanna say it might be from Vicky's Where To Next collection, I want to say, but um, I could be wrong. So I have that. Then let me just move this to the side real quick. And then this is all of the additional paper and doodads that I have left over. And then I will show you, let's show you first the 12 by 12 pages. So the 12 by 12 pages that I put together for um, the cruising crop site are these. And so they are double page layouts. And I wanna see these two go together, but I could be wrong because they might, oh, they do. So these were the two, there we go, so you can see it better. These were um, the two uh, double page layouts. 
So we did those. And then here is the next. And I want to say this is how they go, but I could be wrong. It's been a few weeks. Then here is the next one. So fun. Here is the next one with my son. And then here's the last one. Oh, it goes this way. I don't really have a favorite because I really like them all. And they kind of give me different vibes for everything. And then the album that we put together, again, it was a mixture of Heidi Swab and Where To Next. And because the Where To Next albums were still stuck in customs somewhere at the time of the cruise, we did not get that. We received the print shop one. And so again, I'm fine with that because I am going to put the um, Alaska information on top and kind of like distress it and do all this stuff and once I do that I am going to show you because I'm definitely going to put pictures in this this time because <laughs> the trip was so recent um but I just want to share with you all the fun things we did create now I am missing a front page because for some weird reason my paper got up and left my table and I never could find it when I got back from the cruise I don't know what was up with that I think it was being a Houdini and <laughs> just disappearing on me but that's okay it's no big deal it was just like one of one of those fillers but I do want to share with you um just like really quick I mean you can definitely see how thick this album is and how um, she still incorporates the same kind of concept that she does on her virtual classes I did like the fact that after I just took her where to next album class literally the weekend before um the cruise that we did completely different layouts, completely different concepts. I mean, she just amazes me how quickly she can come up with this, with this techniques, static, um, stuff. Like it's just, it's just amazing. Anyways, she did um create her own ephemera bits that we were able to use within the class that pertain to the cruise itself. So that was kind of neat. And then we just fussy cut around if you wanted to incorporate that. Um, I did mess up on a page or two, but it's only because I would know that. But I basically just switched around the pages once I figured out my mistake because I cut it wrong. <laughs> this one's kind of cool. It just kind of keeps going with the opening. So that one's kind of nice. And then we have, look at this one with the flip, flippity flaps. And then we have little tiny openings here. So fun. got caught so it was a lot of fun and like I said initially um, in the beginning of the video if you really want to partake in one definitely do your homework um, I booked the cruise about 18 months before mainly because I wanted to make my payments and not have it all at one time along with her cruises sell out fast um, so if you are wanting to do a Vicky cruise definitely make sure that when it becomes available, you check your schedule, get approval with the boss if you have an employer, and get on that schedule. Because I do know that her Alaska trip did sell out fast. One thing I didn't know in my initial beginning of, of the video was that there's only about 50 slots available. And I think that's the same for almost every cruise. They do have a wait list, but I don't know how that works. Um, but you definitely want to give you know, cruising crop a call. If it's something that you're interested in. Um, and yeah, so I had a lot of fun. And I met a lot of nice people. Which now, after the cruise, we continue to keep in touch. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> so anyways, um, that pretty much sums up. And look at what happened yes i got her to sign my album that was the most coolest thing along with taking a picture with her privately and then our group shot with the group that was pretty cool so thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video and definitely leave a comment down below if you do have any comments to anything i mentioned or if you've been on a cruising crop i would love to hear from you and i hope you have a fantastic day and i will catch you on the next video so have a good one guys take care